Or welcome on Tuesday, January 17th. Yeah. I'll close the door, please. Poll hearing will play poll location hearings um, before the Conway Select Board. I call the meeting to order, and there are just two items on this agenda a poll hearing for 40 Manning Road, Conway, and a poll hearing for North Poland Road, Conway. Um, and which one of you is first? Gregory and Schaefer first. <laughs> um, well, God, Manning is going to be right now. You said it was Manning and what was the other poll again? Poland Road. Poland Road. Poland Road. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Um, well, as far as I can tell with the uh, all the work on Manning, um, basically the uh, the deal is is there was a, a job that had to take care of, um, I think it's poll number 33 slash one, um, which was going to get replaced anyways. And in doing so, um, new standard usually requires um, a dead end poll, um, as it's referred to, um, to have any sort of kind of a either some kind of guide or backing to it so that it obviously doesn't fall over or anything like that. Um, so the only way that's going to work is if we throw um, a brand new uh, stub pole, which is a um, pole that just is explicitly for guiding purposes um, behind the replacement pole, three, excuse me, 33 slash one. So by throwing the stub pole, unfortunately, that does put it I believe against the properties I have them here. I think it was 30 and 40. Richardson and Man and Watson. Yes, yes. Those are two. Um so um I guess the long story it is uh, because of the full the initial pull replacement, that's the reason for the stuff pull going in uh between the two properties. Um it'll need to be unfortunately done. Um like I said, because of the way the line is set up um, to provide the adequate backing um, to relieve the tension um, along all the primary and everything. So, all right. So the first question for you, sure, sure, um, is just the do you have the petition in front of you? I didn't bring. Did somebody has it? I have got. I believe part of it. So this was the oh, petition. It did have the map too. I, I took note that the petition um, prepared by Joanne Fox, your district representative. Mm -hmm. And if you could just look at the reason, the what purports to be a sentence in the English language next to reason mm -hmm. um, is not in fact a I mean it doesn't the poll it to facilitate the backing Ooh, of the poll. Uh... <laughs> So, um, could you uh, please substitute, give us a substitute language? Uh, oh, absolutely! In, in, um, in the English language, <laughs> so that we can. I believe, um, if my detective skills for the English language serve adequately, <laughs> that it, it should say the poll is to facilitate the backing of poll thirty three slash one. So, this is exquisite type. <laughs> Um, is it, are any residents here for the Manning poll discussion? But a butters were notified. Yeah, but a butters. Yeah, well, that's another thing. Is but do you have the? Oh, the, 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 the of a butters. Yeah. Yes. Um, at least on mine, it's showing a Richardson at thirty, and then Ellen K. Watson at forty. And don't know if there's any other one. We got obviously us ever source. Um, see here on us. Yeah, that's the main three that I've got here. And then my past recollection is that at some point somebody from your office, from the office, forwarded to you. Right. The so of, in the this proof of service to those abutters. Proof of service. Like that they got the notice. Oh well, actually they sent us the notices, which. We're given to Lori to send out. So she did that weeks and weeks ago. Okay. To the others. Yeah. Okay. So we're supposed to read the petition. But so this is a petition 
for solely owned coal and wire locations. Um, NSTAR doing business as Eversource for, to, to um, relocate and install poles, wires, cables, fixtures, including the necessary sustaining and protecting fixtures along and across 40 Manning Road, Conway. Install one solely owned pole 33 slash 1S on the western side of the road. The pole will be approximately 35 feet from the existing pole number 33 1. And the reason is the poles to facilitate the back facilitate the backing of pole 33 dash one. That's what we're doing. Anybody have any questions? Um, so the pole is going to be 35 feet. I assume the wires were that are being referred to are the tension wires. Um what, which um the back of the would be um what are called guide wires. So there's not going to be on this on this stub hole, it's all going to be um guide, which is any sort of um any sort of wire that we use that doesn't have any sort of um it's not electrically charged essentially. But it's um, coming from the top of the pole down. Yes. Uh so the way it's gonna actually look is you're gonna have that that mainline pole that has all your electrical power on it. Um and then 35 feet across the road. Um, you're going to see um, the guiding wires, um, which is going to be from the top of your mainline pole, generally to somewhere at the top of the stub guiding pole. And then what you'll see is another guide wire attached to the back of it going down. That way that relieves the tension through the line and brings it to the ground. So that tension wire mm -hmm. that's going to the ground, mm -hmm. is that going to be on one of these properties? That's yes. Properties? So the pole, the pole itself will sit. Um, is that what this line is here? Yes, exactly. Yes. Okay. That looks like from the photos, there's trees there. Yes, there is. Provided nothing has changed from the, uh, when we sent our, our field crew out and, you know, took a look just to make sure. Um, it's just that one, I think it's one oak tree um, in the way. So it should, um, hopefully, especially in greener times, Provide some sort of cover so it won't be as much of a typical eyesore as a pole on a property is. Um, but if that's been dealt with by the uh, property owner, then you'll be able to see the pole, or they will be able to see the pole. So, but if then nothing's changed, there should be a tree there. No that problems. That that. Forest Service doesn't plan on cutting any branches or? Uh, no, typically um, there's a specific range um, that Eversource has, which it's about. Uh, an eight foot vertical box around the primary um, if the pole has any sort of primary wires and then about two foot box for branches at the uh, secondary level that's that braided wire that kind of sticks underneath the top level wire. Um, the typical practice is to not um, do too much tree trimming in regards to any sort of guide poles because they don't have any, besides bracing, any sort of um, clear present danger wouldn't be the correct phrasing, but they don't have the equipment on them, which would really need to facilitate any sort of tree removal or anything like that. So. And these property owners are aware that there's going to be a huge 35 foot fold. They were sent the postcards. So. Yeah, what they've been provided is what's in the petition mm -hmm. in the map. And which can be a little confusing and given an opportunity to come in. Right. Mm -hmm. I think that the picture makes it pretty clear that it's going to be right next to the tree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now I do see that that symbol does say anchor. Right? And I so. imagine that will be, <laughs> that, imagine imagine that will that involve some amount of delimiting just to put the thing up. Yeah. Well, the, the, what they received was postcards, was not this right. tactic. Oh. Yeah. That's all that they get right. notified, but it's on the website with all this information That's and right. it's here tonight with all the information. So I'll need to expand the conversation more than it needs to be expanded. <laughs> but let's say there has to be some de lemming. What do we have that shade tree law that comes into play, right? Not for the utility, not for That's utility. Okay, got it. Got it. Got it. Utility is immune from yeah. law. Oh, wow. <laughs> They have their own law. Okay. Any other questions? Are you ready to? 
approved. What is approved? What does well? Right. I'll make a motion to approve every source of petition for solely owned pole and wire locations at 40 Manning Road in Conway. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. It's unanimous. Next. Next is Eversource's petition for joint or identical pole location on North Poland Road, Conway. And this is for, this is a petition for Eversource to locate a line of poles, wires, cables, and fixtures, including the necessary sustaining and protecting fixtures to be owned and used in common by your petitioners. Um, and there's two petitioners, it's Eversource and Verizon here. Along and across the following public way, North Poland Road Conway to relocate jointly owned pole 35 slash 2M from the western side of the road to the eastern side, approximately 115 feet southeasterly of current location. A 40 foot pole will be replaced with a 45 foot pole. And, to re and, and also to relocate one jointly owned pole 35 dash 2. It will remain on the same side of the road. It will be approximately 68 feet southerly of current location. A 40 foot pole will be replaced with a 45 foot pole. And the reason here is to relocate the poles due to the mass DOT bridge replacement. Um, what do you have to say about this one, Mr. Eversource representative. Is that you, Jesse? That's me. Uh, hello, Jesse. Hello. Good well, evening, everyone. Good evening. Yeah, so we're relocating those poles a little bit in order to, um, uh, in order, you know, uh, create a more continuous uh, uh, um, service down North Portland Road. Um, it, it's also going to give more room for the um, the bridge reconstruction. And um, I mean, that's pretty much the short of it. Now, are these uh, temporary poles and be moved back after the bridge is done? The, these in this petition that we're referring to are going to be the permanent poles. There are a couple of temporary poles that Mass DOT um, was handling the relocation of the, and, the, and the permits for. Yes, I know there were some poles, you know, markers in there. Yeah, I talked to the Eversource representative on site, you know, the engineer, yep. and he said that those were temporary and they had to put a guide wire down into the cornfield on that temporary pole. Yeah. And I don't know if the pole you're talking about, you're saying it's permanent, is that going to be on the west side of the road with the guide pole? It will be on, on the east side. I have side. a problem with the guide wire being down in the, in the ground like that because it yep. makes it so hard to work farm equipment around when yeah, there's yeah. hay or corn. Sure, sure. I understand. Yeah, no, they'll be on the east side of the road. Do you guys have that sketch? I'm, I'm not sure how to share my screen on Zoom. I don't know if I can do that. Okay, yeah. So everything is going to stay over on the east side. Yeah. yeah so that I point. Can, if you want to share your screen, I can let you do that. Sure. Okay. No. She just authorized you oh, to share your screen. Yeah. 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 Over yeah. here. It takes a minute or so. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, there it is. I, I can live with that as long as it's on, on the east side of the road. Okay. And I know your representative said might have to put a stub pole in for an anchor. Yeah. So we can go around that. that. Yeah. Okay. And that wouldn't be a problem on that field because it's not a big field. Okay. The one on the one on the west side of the road that's right in yeah. the end of the cornfield or hay field, and it'd just be a real real nuisance to mow around it. Sure, sure. Okay. So yeah, we'll be keeping everything on the other side of the road. We're actually going to move that one pole from from the east side of the road. Or I'm sorry, from the west side of the road to the east side of the road. Okay. So I th I believe that when it's all said and done, there won't be any poles on in that area on the west side of the road. All right, I can live with that. Okay, great. Any other questions? Um, 
well, when I when I was looking at the map that was provided at the top of it, it says mm -hmm. there was a note. Note with new guardrail installation, this pole will not be accessible by line truck. And yeah, I'm that's the, what, what the, that's what the, was the, the, the existing pole. Okay. Yeah. Any questions? This one's one straightforward up there. It's in the back. And no trees in the back. Right, exactly. That's what I'm looking at on here. So. <laughs> yeah. 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 No trees in that area. Yeah, I see this driveway. Yeah. It looks like it's going to actually be better for you all, too, because it's going to be other yeah, side yeah. of the road. I mean, that's why I came down because I knew initially he was talking about. On the other side, right. and then he said, "Well, they may put that was going to be temporary." And then after the bridge was done, mm -hmm. they're going to move it back onto the west side. It doesn't make sense. And then he said, yeah, "Well, no. maybe." And the last time I saw him, he was there again one day, and I talked to him, and he said, "Oh, I think we're going to be able to keep it all on this side." So that's good. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent questions here. And you just take care of this, Jesse, for for, for Verizon too. Um, yeah, because these these will be our set poles. So we, um, the petition has to say joint owned because Verizon is going to be on the pole as well. But really, there are set there are responsibilities. So that's why I'm here. So we'll make a motion to approve EverSource and Verizon's. Petition for joint or identical pole locations on North Poland Road, Conway, um, because they need to relocate the poles through the mass DOT bridge replacement um, and as set forth in that petition. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Polls are approved. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, everybody. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for your time. Sure. Thanks. Thank you. Bye bye. Ms. Stewart, was there anything that you had wanted to say? No, I just didn't know what the process was. And as long as Bill's happy, I'm happy. Very good. All right. Thank you. We're so sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we're back with you. That was not personal whatsoever. Please accept our apologies. So you guys froze, you didn't hear me? No, not yeah. at all. So all I said was I didn't know what exactly was going on. I had talked to Bill. As long as Bill's happy with it, I'm happy with it. <laughs> That's my sentiments exactly, actually. Um, all right, good, good. Glad to hear. So we're this meeting can conclude. All right. Motion to adjourn the poll hearings. Second that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 And we will resume here at seven o'clock. <laughs>